Hello everybody, Denver Coder back with a cool new video. This is going to be a Netlify CMS um, portfolio website I'm going to build. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a website using Netlify CMS on Netlify um, and all that's going to be tied together by a GitHub repo that will contain our website. Now this is the second time that I've recorded this video. Um, the first time I kind of did everything out of order. Uh, so I, instead of saying, you know, well, go back and do this or go back and do that, I decided to just re-record it and doing everything the right way. So the problem I did before was I started at Nilify and I created a new site and I moved my domain name over to it. Uh, and that's not the way to do it. You want to start here. So step one, you want to go to netlifycms.org and um, I'm going to walk you through this. This will be part one of the video. Okay, so part one, we're going to be setting up Netlify CMS. Uh, you're just going to navigate to the website. You're going to click this Get Started button. Uh, you can watch this little video if you want. It's pretty cool. Um, some of the things, um, this is basically like um, a WordPress kind of deal where it's a, a blog site template. Um, you have an interface, a user interface. Um, you have workflows where you can basically set your draft your posts and then you can set them to in review and you can create them, uh, set them to ready um, so that they can be seen on the internet. So to get started, we're just going to obviously hit the button that says get started and then it'll bring you to this page. Now it says start with a template and there's two options. Now Hugo is a static site um, a static site template or whatever um, built on the Go language. Um, so Go is a Google um, language and I'm not familiar with Go. I've never used it. I've never even really looked at it. Um, and then the other option you have is the Gatsby site starter. Now Gatsby is written in JavaScript uh, using React. And that's something that I do have quite a bit of experience with. So obviously, since this is going to be my portfolio site, I'm going to choose Gatsby because I know how to work with JavaScript and React. If you are a Go developer, uh, feel free to go ahead and select the Hugo site starter. For the most part, everything that we do here is going to be um, the same for both because um, I'm not going to really get into site building. So after you click those buttons, uh, you'll get an email and it'll say that you've been invited to join whatever the name of your Netlify site is. You click the link and it brings you to a brings you to your website, your new website, and then it has a uh, dialog box here and you type in your select your new password and then after that you'll be logged in and ready to go. And then in the future you just go to yoursite.com and then forward slash admin. So like with WordPress, when you go to forward slash WP admin, you just go to forward slash admin here and then it'll, this will actually change into a login form and you can put in your email address and your password. So to get started, you're going to click this button and it's going to ask you to uh, basically connect to your GitHub account. So you just click this button. I've already connected mine. And then it asks you to, to basically pick a name, right? So I'm going to call this Denver Coder Portfolio. And then you click Save and Deploy. And now what this is going to do is it's going to create a GitHub repo. It's going to create a, you can see here, it created a Netlify site. And right now it's currently building the site. And then once that's done, it's actually going to deploy it. And you can see it says deploying your site and this little guy is spinning right here. So once all of this is done and built, you'll be able to, uh, this will change to a link. It'll be elegant booth and then that 
string of characters dot netlify dot com you'll be able to click that link and go to that go to your website and look at the new website uh, now this initial build did take a really long time the first time so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and we'll pick up part two once this is done